we're going to look at how to create realistic light glowing from street lanterns. And in this photo, I've got a lantern here. I've got one here, right there. And in the back, there's also one. And what we want to do is, is create a soft glow that comes off of these lanterns and lights up the walls and the street, just as if they had been turned on. And of course, we would need to make this a night scene for that to happen, which we'll also see how to do. The ending effect will look like this. So you can see we've got a very nice soft glow coming out of these lanterns. The walls are lit up. We've got the street lit up. And we're going to see exactly how to do that. And also you can see we've turned it into a night scene. So let's get started with rendering this photo from this photo. We're going to start by adding a new layer. Actually, before I get going, I want to create a copy of uh, this photo so I can do some non-destructive editing. Um, this is always a good thing to do, so I just drag this layer down here into the new layer and get our copy. Now I'll go back up here. I want to select the Shape tool, and the color I want for the foreground color is this This RGB works pretty good, 40, 56, 79. You can plug those in to get this particular color. And this is going to create our night. So I'm just going to drag that over this. And that's basically our night. And um, over here on the layers, it's going to start with normal on this drop down. If you select multiply right here, that will give you this effect. And then it's going to be 100%. And you want to dial that down to 75 or 80. Now I'm going to create another layer. And we're going to start working on our lamps. And a good color for this glow is this RGB here, 165, 140, and 51. I'm going to zoom in, and we've got a lamp here, 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 and in the back over here. So there's four lamps we're going to work with. I'm going to select a brush, and for these front lamps, I want to get about a 21 brush. And you can see it's got this soft glow, some of these circles. There's this soft glow around them. That means their hardness is 0%, which you can see here. If I were to select this 19, it goes up to 100. So I'm going to go back to this 21. And what I want is to get this inner part of these lamps so that we, we're going to start working on this glow from the inner part of the lamp. Then we're going to go to a bigger brush. We're going to go to the outer glow. And that's going to help the intensity and realism of this glow. So I'll just dot these lamps here with my brush. And for this one in the back, I'm going to go to about a 13. And it's way back here. Now what I want to do is a color dodge. If you select again up here in this drop down on your layers, panel, I'll go to color dodge. And what that's doing is decreasing contrast with the, the layer under it, so our blue layer. And uh, saturating midtones as well, so that's that gives it this kind of effect here. And you can mess with the opacity on this, on this inner glow, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 100 since it's already fairly decreased. Now we want to do another layer and we're going to go to a bigger glow so that we're getting now into this outer glow. And what I want to do is about, uh, we were on 21, I'm going to get somewhere around double that. Um, probably this 45 should work well. So I'll go to our other layer and do this 45 on these front ones. And this back one I'm going to do, we had that 13, I'll go to about 27. And we're going to go back to our color dodge. And we're going to, this is pretty intense. We're going to go ahead and decrease the opacity on these a little bit. And you can just get that to wherever you want to put it. Now we're going to do one more glow. Because now we've got the, the lamp right in the vicinity of the lamp working pretty well. Now we want really to bring that out. So we're going to go up to about, uh, I don't know if 100... Well, yeah, um, 100 should work on these front ones. So we're going to do a new layer. Maybe we need a little bit more than 100 because that's not not that big. I want to get all of this around here, and this 100 is not quite cutting it. I'll go up to about a 140-ish. Yeah, that looks good. 
And as I go back here, I'm going to dial this down. We'll, we'll use that 100 back here. And this way back here, 65 should do. And we'll color dodge this as well. There we are. And you get that nice bouncing off of the walls there. I'm going to dial this intensity down. Um, and again, you can just get it to where you might like it. I think this, this up here around 75 works pretty good. Now, um, I want to do for these front ones, I'm going to go back uh, to this bigger color, this bigger um, diameter, probably 160-ish works well because what we want is to paint the walls basically add another layer yeah we're going to paint these walls so um actually while i'm doing this i'm going to go ahead and apply a color dodge to our layer so we can better see what's going on and you want to paint the walls just within the vicinity basically so these walls here um and this glow may go out to over here somewhere um, I want the street, the sidewalk here. I'll get this other one, paint around it. Um, this up here, so yeah, it cast up here, so that's good. Um, the light will cast down in here. I'll get this sidewalk again. Um, this one back here, uh, that's pretty intense. I just want to actually get around it. Um, that's way too much. Let's see here. I'm gonna. I'll have to dial this down a little bit. But what I want to do is get the street. So these are going to arc out into the middle of the street. It's not going to be like straight or anything. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And let's see here. We'll get this arc like this. We'll get an arc like this. So there's our street glowing. And let's see. We can go a little bit higher and over. That's good. And we'll get this. That's good. Down here. So this is this is pretty good, and then our back one right here in the middle. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go, go to our 140 area. We'll get this and this. We'll get up here, right there. That's good. The one in the back. We'll I play with it a little bit here. We'll go to about 100. Okay, we'll get back here. Well, that's way too intense. We'll get around it. So that's good. We'll get the street. And that's basically it. We can go ahead and uh, do some uh, opacity, make sure everything is looking good. I think on here we'll just dial this down off of this 100. So you can see the effect that's having. I think, uh, yeah, this 80-ish area works pretty well. And um, that looks pretty good. That's uh, basically a, a realistic glow for lanterns, and um, you can s see we also change this into a night scene if you want to do that effect. And um, I'm still kind of messing with this a little bit. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave this for now. You can work with your um, the size of your brush. Just make sure you've got that soft brush, no hardness at all, selected as you go through and work with these. And remember to apply your color dodge. You may actually want to apply that color dodge as soon as you create the layer. You just go up here and select color dodge. And that way when you go through here and start touching up things, you can see immediately the effect that it's having on your lighting. Thank you for watching.